Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here to do a um, Four Things tag that Sanctity Rapture put out uh, a little while ago. I'm a little bit late doing this, but I had issues with my computer. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do it again. The first one is four jobs that I've had. Uh, my very first job, other than babysitting, because I think all young girls do the babysitting thing first, or at least most of them do. Um, my first real job was working for um, a banquet hall called the Una Gardens, um, just outside of where I live. Um, and it was it was a great job. Like I loved it. I was a, a server at a banquet hall, and um, it, it was just it was so much fun. I mean, it, I worked late hours. But um, it was basically just like a weekend job or or weekend slash summer job. I worked full time in the summertime. But um, yeah, I made a lot of friends there. Um, so yeah, it was my first job. Um, then I worked for a company called Circles, which is basically um, a corporate concierge for American Express card holders. Um, the black card, not just any old American Express card holder. Um, so basically I was a rich person's bitch. <laughs> so we would do like, um, restaurant reservations, recommendations, book hotels for them, rent cars. Um, and then we did some more extravagant things like we would charter, um, a private jet for some people or, um, there was one instance where I actually won an award for, um, doing this for somebody they had called in and their house had had literally just burned down um, so the family was dealing with that it was a, it was a whole family I think it was two kids and the parents and um, so within about an hour I had a hotel booked for them for a couple of weeks um, I had new clothes toothbrush toothpaste all shipped to the hotel um, career there for them so that they could just go there and relax and they would have everything that they needed um, to take care of them for a couple of weeks. Um, so I won an award for that. So I, I got, um, it was called the Top Dog Award. I was so excited and I got this little stuffed dog um, as a reminder. Um, yeah, so that was, that was a really rewarding job. Um, it was a lot of fun. We had so many like crazy extravagant requests um, from some people and it was just so much fun because researching on the internet was always my thing and that's basically what this job was. The only reason I left it was because one of my managers was a complete asshole and I couldn't deal with him anymore so I quit and I, I wish I had sort of stayed but at the same time it was basically just out of high school um, type of job. So it wasn't really anything to stay there long term. So I moved on. I did a few more jobs. Um, the next one would be when I worked for Craft Canada. Um, and the division of Craft was the Cadbury um, Chocolate Factory. That was where I worked right before surgery. Um, and I think I gained a lot of my weight just from that place. They would have chocolate out on the table right beside your desk. All you had to do was this, grab it, and it was just chocolate, candy. I mean, they had they did gum. Sorry, guys, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had to get out of there because with choosing this lifestyle now, there was... I, I didn't want the temptation. So, um, a couple of months before surgery, I started looking for another job. Um, I found one uh, working for Maple Leaf Foods, the Canada Bread Division. Um, also doing dispatch. Um, the smell of bread is in the air, but... You know, at first it was, oh my god, I just want to eat bread. But now, it... it smells I could care less if I ever smell a baking loaf of bread again because for one I don't even I don't want to eat bread anymore and two the smell smelling every day 
like smelling fresh baked bread is good. Like if you go to somebody's house and their house smells like baking bread, yum. But smelling it every single day and and I mean it's like it's the dem it's Dempster's Wonder Bread, you know that kind of bread, right? So you can almost smell the chemicals they use in it and it's not it's not nice anymore. So anyway, I, I started that job. Um, I basically finished at, at Cadbury. I had two weeks off, so I had my surgery. Like, I finished on the Friday. I had my surgery on the Monday. Two weeks after that, I started this new job. Um, so I only had two weeks off for my surgery, which was okay. I would have loved to have had, like, maybe four, but I only did two. Um, and it was all right because this job, when I was in training, it was just sitting at a desk, so... Um, it's not like we were, I was walking around a lot or anything. So, yeah, it was good. The next um, category is four places that I've lived. Now, technically, I've only lived in three different places. Um, the first one was Hamilton, Ontario. Um, and I was there for two years of my life. And then my family moved to Stony Creek. Um, and I've been there pretty much my whole life with the exception of when I was in college um, I did hotel and restaurant management um, at Niagara College and so um, it was a co-op program and I got to move to British Columbia for uh, a summer so I lived in a residence there while I worked and that was amazing I would so love to go back there um, just a beautiful like I would open up my window in the morning and there was like mountains outside of my window. It was gorgeous. It was so, so beautiful. We had like a bonfire pit in the backyard. And it, it was basically like being at college because when I actually went to college, I commuted from home. So I never had the college experience. So this was my college experience sort of because being away from home, it was awesome. It was awesome. Mm. I would s totally do that again. Um... So that's pretty much, and then I went back home to Stony Creek. So that's pretty much the only three places I've ever lived. But if I had to say four places, I would say um, Etobicoke, which is just outside of Toronto, Ontario. Um, and that's where George's, George and his parents um, lived. So for the six years that I was with George before we moved into this house, um, I was basically living in Stony Creek and Etobicoke. So yeah. Um, for TV shows that I like right now, um, there's a few shows that, um, I have been following, um, that are either, either over or, um, the next season hasn't started yet. Um, and those shows are Drop Dead Diva, which I highly recommend to gastric by bypass patients or weight loss surgery patients or whatever, weight loss, if you're just, whatever. Um, it's basically a show about this skinny girl and she dies because she gets hit by a truck of melons. <laughs> so she goes to heaven, but she doesn't want to be dead. So she exiles herself back down to earth. But instead of going back as herself, she goes back into another woman who had passed away. And this woman's body was a bigger girl. So this skinny girl is in this big girl's body and she basically learns what it's like to be overweight. So it's really, really a good show. I freaking love it and I totally wish it was still on. But it's not. I guess it got cancelled or it finished or something. I don't know. But um, it was a really good show. It's called Drop Dead Diva. Um, another show that is over now is Prison Break. I really love that, along with uh, Lost. Lost was really good, too. Um, another show that I cannot wait. I think it's starting in June or July, the next season, and that's Breaking Bad. Awesome show. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, as for right now, right now I am watching American Idol um, and So You Think You Can Dance. Those are my two favorite reality shows. They're the only reality shows that I watch because... Um, growing up singing, I just, I love, I just love the whole thing, the whole singing thing. Um, I never really got into any of the other singing shows, but American Idol, I watch re religiously. If I can't watch it, I PVR it and watch it, like, later. Um, another show that I absolutely love is The Big Bang Theory. 
if I could marry Jim Parsons, I would. He cracks me the fuck up. He is like the funniest guy. I don't know. It's his dry humor. I don't know what it is, but he freaking cracks me up. And another show that I, um, actually the, the last episode was on last week, but, um, the following, that was a really good show too. And the last one that I have been watching, and there's only two episodes left, is Bates Motel, which is basically um, the movie Psycho, but it's when Norman Bates was young and his mother was still alive. So that's a really good show, and I've been enjoying that as well. Um, four vacation places that I've been to. Now, this is not exciting at all because I haven't been anywhere except for the States and Canada. So... I mean, Canada, I've been to the East Coast, the West Coast. I've been pretty much everywhere in Canada. But um, the States, I've been to New York. I've been to South Carolina. I've been to Philadelphia. I've been to Florida. I've been to a few other places, but basically in passing, like because we had to drive through or whatever. So that's not very exciting at all. Um, my four favorite foods before and after weight loss surgery. Before surgery... I was all about the pastries and muffins and any kind of baked good. I was all over that shit. Um, my second favorite food was craft dinner. Yeah, I know. It was my favorite as a kid. It was my favorite as a teen. If I could eat it today, I probably would. Uh, but knowing that I can't, I won't. Um... I just love it. Um, the next one would be san any kind of sandwich or panini, like a like a roast beef dip or um, like a chicken panini, mm, grilled cheese, mm. and the last one is pizza, of course. Who doesn't love pizza? So as you can see, baked goods, craft dinner, which is pasta, sandwiches, and pizza. I loved bread. Bread was like. Besides, besides bread, pop would be um, my biggest addiction, um, and I think that's those are the two things that got me to where I was at 281 pounds. Um, I couldn't pass up any type of bread product or carbonated beverage. Um, as far as after weight loss surgery... Um, you guys know I love pickles, so pickles would be one. Um, I really love pea male bacon with hollandaise sauce. That is like, oh my god, so good. Um, I'm trying to think, like, there's not, like, any kind of beef. Like, I'm not so much a fish or a chicken. Like, chicken's good. I like chicken. Not such a fan of fish. I never really have been, so, and that didn't change. Um, it just makes me feel icky. I don't know what it is. Um, so yeah, beef and what else? Mm. It's really hard to say because there's, I, I really don't have any favorite foods anymore. Food is a chore to me, so I don't know. Protein smoothies, maybe? I mean, not no, not even that because I have to drink them, so it's it, I don't consider that a favorite food. Um, I guess those uh, pizza cupcakes that I've been making, the 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 Hawaiian pizza cupcakes and the um, taco cupcakes and the Philly cheesesteak cupcakes, really good, delicious. Um, okay, so four places I'd love to be right now. The first one is camping in Algonquin Park. We went a couple years ago and had the time of our life. It was, it was like, it was so much fun. I just love the outdoors, camping in general. I could camp in my freaking backyard and I'm happier, you know, than if I was to sleep in my own bed 20 feet away. <laughs> um, so one other place would be Greece. Um, George is Greek, and so he always talks about back home, well, it's not his, he was born here, but he goes back to where his parents um, grew up, and 
he just says it's the the most gorgeous place and just looking at the pictures I would love to go there you know meet the rest of his family um, so that would be awesome um, another place would be my old cottage in Selkirk which is on Lake Erie um, it was my grandparents cottage so when they passed away their three sons including my dad um, couldn't keep up with it and didn't have the time for it so they ended up selling it but it was really hard on me because I basically grew up there like every summer every memory I have of summer was at my cottage and just knowing that I, I can't go back I mean if I had money <laughs> I would so buy it like in two seconds because I miss the crap out of that place. And the last place would be any anywhere hot, Mexico, Cuba, um, Fiji. Like I just want to go somewhere exotic and lay on the beach in the sun, swim in the ocean, but I've never been. I am almost 30 years old. I'm 29. I have never been anywhere except for Canada and the US and uh, it makes me sad but working through agencies and part-time here part-time there um, I never got any vacation time I could take time off but I could never get paid for it so I never went anywhere um, most travelings we did with my parents, which when, when we went to the East Coast and just across Canada and stuff, um, I was younger, so I wasn't even working yet. So the only places I've ever been was mostly when I was in high school. I went on some like choir class choir trips to uh, South Carolina and Philadelphia, but that's pretty much it. I need a vacation badly. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, that's my four places I'd love to be right now. Four things I'd like to do after surgery. I want to be able to wear a bikini. Not right now, of course. I think I have 86 pounds to go before I will even discuss putting on a bikini. Um, I'll wear a tankini, but not a bikini. Um, and I also want to see where the skin situation is at by then, because... Um, I can't afford the, the skin removal, so it really depends on how bad my skin is. Um, my tummy skin, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too bad, so I might be able to get away wearing a bikini. The arms, I'm not too concerned about, although, I don't know. M my situation is the girls, um, how well they'll hold up in a bikini top. Um, cause you know, bikini tops are like this big and my boobs like this big. <laughs> so, um, it may not be a good idea to wear one of those. Another thing I wanted to do was go for a massage. Right now I'm too self-conscious and before especially I was too self-conscious. Um, the tables that you have to lie on, they're like, they're like this big and I'm like this big. So it's like, I look like a... <laughs> like I'm falling off the sides of the bed, but whatever. So I'd love to be able to go and get a massage. Oh my God. George gives great massages, by the way, but um, I just want like, he'll do that for like, I don't know, maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes. And then he's like, I'm tired. My hands are sore. I want to go for like a two hour massage. You can even send in different people, you know, just keep them coming, right? <laughs> Another thing I'd love to do is be able to wear high heels Buy, buy high heels and actually wear them. I've bought many and I have them on for like three minutes and have to take them off because I'm too heavy and they hurt my feet. They just, they hurt so, so bad. My feet aren't good to begin with. I have bad arches and whatever. So um, hopefully after I lose the weight, I won't feel like, you know, my feet are breaking. And the last one I... Uh, would like to do after surgery. I mean, there's so many, I couldn't even tell you how many, but one main thing I want to do is be able to jump on a trampoline. We went to a trampoline park with my nephew a little while back. I don't know if you saw the video, but um, I was on there for like 30 seconds and I was so out of breath and tired. I could barely, I was like on the trampoline. So the trampoline's here. I was like 
my feet were like down. I couldn't even jump enough to get up onto the side again. That's how bad it was. Um, yeah, so I was, I was so upset because I couldn't jump on the trampoline for more than 30 seconds that I left George and his nephew there. They had the time of their life. I went out to my car to cry. So, I want to jump on a trampoline and not get winded. I want to go for the whole hour, hour and a half. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'll read the the um, topics again one more time. So if you want to do the tag, I know a lot of you already have because I'm late doing it, but um, four jobs that you've had, four places that you've lived, four TV shows that you like, um, four vacation places that you've been, uh, your four favorite foods before and after weight loss surgery, four places you'd like to be right now, and four things you'd like to do after surgery when you get to your goal weight, or sooner, depending. So that's it for me for today, guys. Um, 21 minutes, wow, I cannot believe it. Um, and I'm so glad I get to use Photo Booth because it won't cut out on me. Awesome, so I'm gonna use this from now on. All right, so um, I guess that's it for today. We'll see you next week. Love you guys, bye.